Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, and if you're new to my channel, I help people with Ascension, Twin Flames, Soulmates, Ascension Symptoms, and everything in between for all the relationships in your life. Welcome. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about a lot of the symptoms that um, you may be feeling. Now, I want to preface this by saying that there are people who are very unhealthy and sometimes it's not their fault. They may have a chronic illness. They may have something that runs in their family. I want to clarify that part of the reason and part of my drive is in teaching about Ascension is to help people get healthy or to get healthier, healthier in like little stair steps where you keep going up, you go up, you go up. And that is because your brand new light body is the living bridge between your higher divine connections and your physical life. So, and I've seen this happen time and time again. I've seen it happen with myself where the repairs happen. I go up into the repair shop. I come down, I'm repaired. I have to reintegrate. I have to maintain that state of repaired body parts or adjusted body parts, even as I age. And this is no different for people that are going through emotional stuff. You might need to fix and heal your emotional side. You might have to fix and heal your mental side. And I'm going to touch on a very touchy subject here. Craziness. Okay. We can feel at times that the entire world is going crazy. Why? Because you are leaving that level. In other words, there is a push to get you out of that level, which I call leaving the fourth dimension. That's been a physical part of life as well as the astral plane that has had to do with the way we've all had to live. Okay, like sometimes it's being forced. It's like, why, why is it okay for some people to not be enslaved and other people are still slaves? Why? Why is there human trafficking and other people have, you know, freedom of expression and they're trying to, you know, find this part of themselves? Why are some people eating and some people are starving? You know, it's because people say like, well, that's how it is. Well, it's beginning to change now and nothing irks me more than people who are complacent on their journey. We cannot be complacent about this. You cannot rest on your laurels. You can't sit there and say, well, I've been doing the work because trust me, there is more to do. And the reason is, is only in 2019 into 2020, that's when we started to be able to put the closures to that level. Now, this is why you also see people that are trying to throw off the yoke and throw off the overcoat of the past. You will also see people that somehow can't handle it and they don't know what to do and they will take a very firm retreat and start blaming everyone else for their shortcomings. Why? Because they don't know what to do and that's what the mind does in karma. It's like, if it's not this, it's that. If it's not my fault, I don't want it to be my fault. It's going to be your fault. And there's a lot of that going on. People take a retreat into crime. People take a retreat into... Um, addictions. People take a retreat into religion. And honestly, religions, if you look, you could go back to, I mean, do we worship any of the gods or goddesses from ancient Sumeria? I don't even know if you know their names. I mean, I just came across some names the other day. It's completely irrelevant now. Whatever someone went through thousands of years ago, it might be irrelevant to your modern life. But what is actually relevant is the time change in the energy. So things started shifting big time in 2012. That was a big shift. That was a year of a little bit of axis tilt on the earth. And that's a normal occurrence that occurs almost every 12,000 years. So, you know, that's, that's part of the place that we live on that we are a part of. You're eating food grown on that. You are grazing animals that are on it. You have, you know, every, all of us are supported here from that level of earth. But you're also supported from another level. And why do people have this craziness? Why does this journey send people crazy? You know, they go off in this direction, that direction. 
part of it is because of the past, because they're doing what is familiar or what might feel right, and that's fine. But some of those things will cease to be pleasurable. You know, it's like when the smoking ceases to be pleasurable for you and you start feeling it, or you start feeling like you're allergic to alcohol, or that person that you thought was the one, suddenly you're having, noticing yourself. You're not just having doubts. Those doubts are, you're beyond a doubt that you're noticing yourself that, hey, I don't wanna hang around for that person anymore. Should you feel any remorse about that? No, especially if they're not treating you right and they're not responding because 90% of the time, it's not gonna be a person that you should even focus on. Who should you focus on? You. And that is why I'm here to teach about your twin flame ascension because the twin flame is actually your etheric body connection. That is the part of you that fills in the missing pieces, that helps grow the new nerve pathways. If you look at medical science, they'll say things like, well, we discovered that, you know, someone, you know, was able to regrow pathways or um, did develop functionality in this other area of their body that we thought would never function. The etheric body is responsible for that. And the etheric body also remembers some of the negative things that have happened here. And so this is a distinct process and a transition, and it is not all going to happen at once. I know we'd love to wave a magic wand and be like, bingo, presto, changeo, you're changed. And it just doesn't work that way. Why? I'm going to tell you the biggest reason, accountability. Accountability and vigilance. You have to watch. You have to mind your own store. You have to pay attention to how things feel. And you have to be accountable for your actions. Going on the attack, that's your action, okay? Seeing how you can change your mood, that's a better action, right? So, I mean, there's always room for improvement as we move along here. So if you are struggling with things, I highly recommend that you start getting some of my material, which makes it easy to level up that leveling up, I got the message for that in 2018, and it is on. It's going to keep going on. There's big plans for this, and the plan is to not leave people in a state of despondency and decrepitness, but to really help people blossom, to really fulfill promises that have been made throughout centuries. And... You know, I was raised a certain way. I've talked to people all over the world. And the messages do come into the heart because that's where they're supposed to. And bypass the things of the head that have been created here to try and bring order to the chaos. So even if you feel like the whole world is falling into chaos, I kind of see it like this. It's like taking a big box of Legos or things you built out of Legos and you shook it up and it all fell down, right? Fell down, went boom, there. Now it has to get picked up. You have to look and see, now I need that piece. That one represents a window. That's a doorway. This is going to make a good foundation. That's what you have to do. Make a new foundation and reboot every essential part of yourself. It's critical. And it's going to feel critical because... What I see is that when people ignore this, there's two things that happen. They either roll around again and start up again. And it's always like that because these things go in cycles. Or they start going down the rabbit hole and it gets really bad. It gets really, really bad. And I hate to see that happen because just some steps in the right direction starts a momentum for yourself. I know that there's people that have said, I've been doing work for four years. You're probably doing fourth dimensional work and now you gotta get out of the fourth dimension. We are leaving the fourth dimension where negligence happens, where negative things happen and people do this and they're like, I don't see it, it's not in my neighborhood, I got nothing to do with it. We've all had a part in it. We've all had each other's blood. We've all nursed each other's children. You don't believe me, go look at a history book. It's, it's happened, okay? We've 
all done things and it's time to make those things right and to not only do that but fix your you know fix the parts that are broken or get the new parts up and running which I vote for I say get the new parts up and running because my work has the diagrams the how to's the reasons why the things that will help you and if you are actually connected to someone who is really into some negative stuff they're an addict um they're sick with something you're going to feel it through your body it doesn't matter how many persons you check out on social media the real culprit is affecting you on the inside so that's something that a lot of people need to hear and you know that's just how do you do this you get yourself to feeling better that is the best thing to do. And feeling better doesn't always mean meds or self-medicating because even that, your light body will only tolerate so much before it's time. It's time. Okay, time to stop drinking the alcohol because now you're allergic and wait till it gets worse. No, don't wait till it gets worse. Take the hints now and let go of the ties that bind you. And I know how to help you to do that. I've had great success with people who follow the instructions and kind of follow through on things because I can't do it for you. And, you know, the archangels are not coming in. They kind of back up like when you're learning to swim. They're like, come on, keep going, keep going. And you're like, hey, you're moving. Yeah, this is like a moving target sometimes. And you have to have the go-to things so that you can get where you're going. Um, if you are interested in being a digital nomad, entrepreneur, using your passion to make your paycheck, okay, check out my new class coming up in the link below. I will have something for you to um, pre-register as I set it up. If you are having problem being an empath, okay, you feel everything and it's so raw and you want, really want to change that. And some of that rawness can come from who you're really attached to. Are they smoking up a storm? Are they getting hammered every weekend? You know, it, it, is this you or do you want this for your day in and day out existence? Because you go to a professional um, psychologist and they're going to be like, oh, you're bipolar. We better do. Yeah. Bipolar is a twin flame thing. We're up, we're down, we're up, we're down. Okay. Get off the roller coaster and start mastering some of this so that you are really good at who you're supposed to be. Time for a new foundation. Time to level up. Thanks so much for watching. And I got to say these things because it's something, it's just time. It's time to start. You know, you can't sugarcoat some of this stuff. It's just on. It's on and, you know, I remember going through it. Part of the reason I created my material and wrote it is I have personally been through it. I've been the person who has died a thousand deaths with my family not knowing what's happening to me. They're like, why aren't you this or why this? You can't explain this sometimes except to people who really have been through it and they get it and I get you. So please join. Please see the links below and have a session with me. That is where some of the best work is done. It's very exponential. And thanks for being on the journey. Bye.